Today I wanted to take you on one of my favourite rides here in Wales. This is where I grew up and where I started riding a bike. There are some beautiful roads to ride on and if you like climbing this is a great area to ride a bike. Now I'm not a massive fan of climbs but the best views are always at the top of the climbs and they are really nice climbs to ride up. So as you all know Wales has a little bit of a reputation for being quite rainy but today it's a miracle it's not raining it's not the warmest it's 14 degrees and it's quite cloudy so got the arm warmers on just in case i've just planned my ride on Kamut and uploaded it to my wahoo it's going to be around 50 miles around 80k and we're going up quite a big mountain called the black mountains so I'm going to head off towards Porthread, then the National Botanical Gardens of Wales, over to the Drisling Castle, down the Tawy Valley and up the Black Mountains. And we're going to have a few stops on the way, some viewpoints and a few little stories on the way too. Going to get my bike ready, grab some food and we'll be off. Let's go. <sighs> in a lovely little village called Fandilo. More sheep. So I've just set off and I'm already on my first stop and I just wanted to show you some of the nice country roads at the start of my ride. Literally not a car in sight and some really nice views. Not sure if you can see but you can see some mountains over quite far away and that's where we're going to be heading first. I'm now going to carry on down this road until we reach a little village called Portharid. I just have to stop because the sun's come out. It's great. So I've now just jumped on a bike path just off Porthorine that actually runs next to the National Botanical Gardens of Wales, which I really like to show you. So let's carry on on this bike path. So just behind me, you could probably see the National Botanical Gardens of Wales, that big glass dome that has loads of flowers from all over the world in it. I've had many weekends out there with my grandparents when I was younger, so really fond memories. And it just looks, it's just in the middle of nowhere. And then there's just this big glass dome. It's pretty cool, I think. Blinking glorious. I thought I was gonna be too cold, but I reckon I could take my GNA off and my arm warmers. Don't know if it's just me or if it's everybody, but the sun literally puts me in such a good mood when I'm on my bike. And if it's raining, complete opposite. I'm a little bit grumpy on my bike when, when it's raining. Oh, Paxton's Tower. It's another famous castle in Wales. I mean, it's not famous, it's uh, just a castle around here, you know. What goes down must come up. Can't go very far without having to go up a hill here. So on a nice day, this is definitely my favorite spot to stop. I'm not even to stop just to pass on a ride because the views are always stunning here. As you can see in the background, that is Drisling Castle built in 1220 I believe, so quite a long time ago and as you can see there isn't much left of it but you can actually walk up to the castle and the views from the top are absolutely stunning and I do like to come here just to take a nice picture for the gram, rest my bike against the bridge and a nice stream in the background with all the greenery it does make for a very good picture. And in, Carm in Carmarthenshire there are loads of castles You've got Drisling Castle, Denevo Castle, you've got Paxton's Tower not far from here, so there's loads to see. Um, it makes for really beautiful riding. And I know it doesn't actually look that sunny or warm on the camera, but honestly, it is really sunny when the sun, com when, when the sun does come out. It's gone behind the clouds, but it's actually a really nice day. I think the camera's making it look a bit dull and gloomy, but it is beautiful. There are lots of bees, short, sharp, steep climbs that you know I absolutely love definitely really enjoy these there are also quite a lot of these in Wales little sheeps 
Oh. Yeah, they don't want to be my friend. That tends to happen a lot. Bye. Getting closer and closer to the Black Mountains. I've still got just under 50K left of my ride. And I just thought I'd stop and show you this quite nice view here. I'm just on a nice quiet country lane. And just down here is Bethlehem Hill, which I really want to show you too. It's a nice little kicker of a climb, which um, actually the Women's Tour of Britain came on last year, came on this very road actually. And there was a QOM at the top of Bethlehem Hill and I managed to get up in the peloton, which I was quite proud of. We all know I'm not a massive fan of hills, but it was quite a short, sharp, steep one, which suited me a little bit better. I mean, I didn't win the QOM, but I got up it and that was a win for me. We better go. So I've just stopped here because this stream is the stream that runs all the way up to the Black Mountains and it is a really pretty place to stop but I just wish I had a picnic because this is the perfect picnic spot. I'll have to come back again, maybe with some friends. Even though this all looks so pretty now, I actually had probably one of my worst rides on this very road. I remember it was a good few years ago now and I was home for Christmas and it was Christmas Eve and me and my friend Amy Roberts, we always went for a ride on Christmas Eve and we did pretty much this exact route. We got to the bottom of the Black Mountains and it just started hailing, and, but it was like pure ice and it was so cold and so windy at the top of the mountain. And I remember I definitely wanted to cry and we were still like 40K from home at that time. And yeah, it wasn't very fun, but now we can look back and laugh at that. But yeah, I'm just glad it's a lovely day today. Those mountains up there, that's the Black Mountains. So I finally reached the bottom of the Black Mountains. Now for a good 15, 20 minutes, probably 20 minutes climb all the way up to the top. And as you can see, it is just beautiful, I'm sorry. It's so open and you've got a stream running all the way down from the top. You've even got roaming sheep on the mountain. What more could you ask for? I'm also gonna give myself a little challenge on the way up. Um, as you know, it's quite, quite a long hill. I might get a little bit bored, so I'm gonna give myself a challenge. I'll let you know what it is in a minute. More sheep? Hello. I don't know if many of you know, but here in Wales, we have our own language. And I thought I'd challenge myself, whilst climbing the Black Mountains, chat some Welsh to you. So, let's do it. Another pretty waterfall. Um, oh, sheep crossing the road. Get that here a lot in Wales. Oh, traffic. Hello, oh, hello. Okay, back to the Welsh. The Welsh alphabet. Let me clear my throat. God, out of breath. Right, let's take in more views. A lot of sheep on this mountain. Call it Sheep Mountain, not Black Mountains. Hi, Huns. Right, don't be fooled. Even though it is a beautiful day today, it's not always like this. I've done many rides in the freezing cold up here. Come on, out the road. I've reached the top and it's pretty windy up here so I'm not going to stay here for too long but now it's time for my favorite part the descent all the way down to there you can't even see the bottom from here because it's so far away but on a day like today it's so clear that you can see the sea all the way over there it's very far away but you can just about see it I'm nearly at the end of my ride and 
I would love a coffee stop at about now, but here in Wales, not all the coffee shops are open yet. Um, and you can get takeaways, but obviously then you haven't got anywhere to sit and I don't fancy riding and trying to drink hot coffee. That wouldn't end well. So that's not gonna stop me. I went to the local shop and bought some Welsh cakes and some Barabreef. Now, if you're ever in Wales and you see these, you must try them because they are delicious. So I'm gonna somehow carry these home and have a coffee stop when I get home. This could be interesting. I really don't want to squish the cakes. Don't really know where to put them. Maybe in my back pocket or down my jersey. Or might have to rest it on my handlebars somehow. That'll fit quite nicely in my back pocket. Welsh cakes nice and round. I reckon I'm going to prioritise the Barabreath there. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's working quite well. Oh. Do, 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 do. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. It's off, home we go. You'll be glad that my barra brief and my Welsh cakes made it back in one piece, and I didn't even eat any of them on the way home. Save it all for this moment here got my barra brief, got my Welsh cakes, the perfect coffee stop at home. Oh, and if you do try the barra brief, you have to have butter on it. Always makes it so much better. Mm. So that was one of my favorite rides here in Wales. Let me know where your favorite ride in, in the comment section below.